This video is on Alzheimer's, the early stages, as promised. I do not claim to be a medical doctor. I don't want to be a medical doctor. I'm not sitting in any fancy library with all these medical books because I don't have a library and I don't really have any medical books. What I can tell you is that with my mom, um, the early signs for me was she f would come to me and say, my memory, my memory, and she would, oh, she would do like this gesture. I don't know if that was like an Italian thing, but really hard, like my memory, my memory. And I just want to say that, you know, if your parents or your grandparents or any one of your loved ones comes up to you and says, I'm having a problem with my memory, don't think they just woke up that day and said, ooh, I'm just going to tell somebody. They've been kind of thinking about it, worrying about it, not knowing what to do. So if they come to you, you know, maybe you should be a little honored that, you know, they, they trust you enough because here's the thing. Some people would just downplay it. Oh, you're just getting old. Don't worry about it. But, you know, they, they have something that really is bothering them. So it's almost like re just reassure them like, okay, let's, let's get you some help. Let's, let's really see what's going on here. And um, that's what we did. So um, I don't know why. I'm sorry if there's some planes that come over us. I don't know why I ended up in um, a rehabilitation center with my mom. But it really wasn't a fair evaluation because my mom came from Rome, Italy when she was a teenager. Her mom put her on the boat. She was the youngest of her daughters. And she locked herself in the bathroom and pretty much cried the whole way. But when she came here, she had a third grade, like a third grade level education. And that's because she was in the war, you know? So she really didn't know what they were asking her and she never would have you know if they would ask her how to make a lasagna then she would have she would have nailed that she would have nailed that but the thing is um it wasn't good so i just want to mention that in case there is a language barrier and someone recommends that just keep that in mind so eventually we did go to a, a neurologist where um you know they'll recommend some tests and then they recommend some medications and i'm not here to endorse any medicines I will say she's on more than one, and they do claim that it slows down the process, so really, what other choice do you have? But she is on that, that medication. Um, I don't know about you, but most likely you might have situations of, okay, now this person's on medicines, who's gonna make sure they take it um, regularly? And I had a situation where one of my mother's friends came over, and she convinced my mother to stop taking the medicine because she didn't need it. She was just getting old. So it took me a while to get her back on the medicine. And I was really mad at the time because I knew, so you know the person, you know the person better than anybody else. I knew there was a problem, okay? I recognized there was a problem. But you know, she, she was, she's a good friend and she still is a good friend today. So I, I realized she meant well, but I just wanted to mention that to you because you will come across people that will have their opinions. The other thing I, I wanted to say, my, my grandmother just came to mind, um, they say do crossword puzzles, um, which is great, do crossword puzzles. You know, it does stimulate the mind, but my grandmother, she would do crossword puzzle any time I went over. She did crossword puzzle after crossword puzzle. She had these, these big bifocals, and, which was great, but the problem was she, she went downhill fast from what I remember because, in my opinion, she, after doing all these crossword puzzles, she sat and watched TV for the rest of the night. There wasn't social stimulation. So I would, I would recommend that, you know, from onset, less TV, more social activity, more people-like things. Um, music is better than TV if, 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 if you do just that. Um, but getting back to the real uh, signs of Alzheimer's, um, you know, when you're, you, uh, I'll say, Ma, come on, we'll, we'll go shopping. And, you know, we get in the car, we're down the street, and she goes, where are we going? And then I'm like, I just told you, but you know, you just repeat yourself. So then 20 minutes later, it's like, where are we going? We're going to the store. And that's when you realize, okay, there really is something going on here. And of course, you just repetitively, repetitively repeat the answers um, and questions. But um, like I said, you'll, you'll know the person better than anybody else. Um, I'm hoping that this information is helpful. It's... It's a tough disease, it really is. Um, 
but again, I'm hoping this information is helpful. I, I hope that you'll continue watching. I want to do a couple of other videos in between that are just kind of fun and just, I don't know, happiness and life stuff. Because when you live with this, you don't want to talk about it all the time, you know. You, you want to escape it as much as you can. So I think that's why I do get into these videos because it really just does take me away from that whole world, you know. I mean, I could tell you stories that you just wouldn't believe. I mean, sometimes I stand there and I say to myself, who would believe this, I, really, honestly? But little by little, I'll, 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 I'll give more segments. And this will definitely continue this series. Um, so I will put a subscribe button on the top if you click on it. Uh, what that means is that you will automatically get the follow-up videos and um, it would be great. I'd like to have you uh, follow. So um, have, have a good day. Thanks so much.